Hey YouTube, welcome to TC10, the crazy troll nation of YouTube. I know I'm looking crazy right now. The crazy just because I am sometimes, and the troll because I consider myself a troll. A cute troll when I put on face paint, but a troll nonetheless. This is a video of my first time trying the Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Marine Hydrating Modeling Mask. It comes, I purchased it from QVC. Um, the box of four treatments is expensive. And they had it on QVC where you get um, two boxes and the price was really good. And so, I don't know if you've seen my other skincare videos, but I've been experimenting with some of his stuff, some of Peter Thomas Roth's stuff, and I have purchased some new um, Olay stuff. So what you get in here, you get four treatments, you get four little uh, mixing bowls, and it's three in here because one I used. It comes with one spatula. And it comes with four activating powders. And it comes with four of the hyaluronic cushion gel. So you put the gel inside of one of the bowls. And then you put the powder in it. Then you mix it. And you have to be quick. I did see um, demonstrations of this from when he did his master classes and one of his estheticians, um, she was, you know, showing how to do it. So you have to work quick and the reviews, if you read them on Sephora, some say, I couldn't get it on, it dried too fast, da, da, da. You do have to mix it quick and then put it on really quick. And I did use a spatula and I put it on and then I went in with my fingers to get it around my nose. And you're supposed to, it's supposed to peel off fairly smoothly and people were saying they couldn't get it off, it was breaking apart. And so I, from watching her do it, from watching the esthetician demo it, I knew to try and get it thicker around the edges so that it would peel. Like around my nose, how this is peeling off. When she did it, she just took it all off in like one sheet. Um, so I'm giving it time for the edges to get a little harder. So I can just peel it off. Ew, it feels weird. Okay, I'm going to try it while I'm sitting here. <laughs> I wasn't going to do this part on camera because I know it's not going to come off in one piece. Because some parts are thinner than other parts. And I did try to put it on thick enough to have it peel off in one piece. But I feel like it's not going to do that. It feels really, really weird. Ooh, this is nice. And no, it doesn't hurt. It's not pulling my skin any. I am pleased with how it is coming off because I didn't want to have to go around my face and pull off a bunch of tiny pieces. So this is not bad. So I do know I need to um, definitely put it thicker around the edges so that I can have that edge to pull up. And I know I keep getting really quiet. This is my first time using this and I will read from on the box some more of what it is saying. Once I get more of this off of my face. I know that looked real weird the way I just did that. <laughs> if that freaked you out, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really did not intend to pull this off um, on camera, but I'm glad that I am. So for those of you who were considering trying this or reading the reviews of saying how it was really hard to peel off, it's not really hard to peel off. If you get it thick enough around the edges, then as you saw how this all just peeled off, it'll do that. And I knew I had some in my hair, which I, which was unintentional, but I will do, I will handle that later. And you can just take a wet cloth or, in, or whatever to get it out of your hairline if you do accidentally get it into your hairline. And so, and I did get some in my brow hairs too a little bit. I didn't even see this over here. Uh. 
Yeah, but I really, I saw her demo it a few times because I attended, I think, um, sheesh, how many? At least four of the webinars that they had. Maybe even more than that. And so I've seen her do this at least like three times. And I was like, that would be so cool to get it all off in one piece. But as you see, it wasn't that bad. Okay, so I'm going to read what the box says. The English side. <laughs> Use the bowl and a spatula provided. Mix, da, 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 which we did. Use a spatula, immediately spread the mask in a thick, even layer on the skin. That was the challenging part, was to get it even, to get the layer even. The mask will set in five to seven minutes, but maybe left on for up to 15 minutes. I think I had it on for a total of 10. To remove the mask, lift and wipe away any excess. No rinsing needed. Follow with a serum and or moisturizer of your choice. And of course it has from his brand, but you can use whatever you use. And it says, if you have dehydrated skin, dull complexion and fine lines and wrinkles, you want instantly plump, supple skin, deep hydration and dewy radiance. So this is supposed to hydrate your skin, revitalize your complexion, help with fine lines and wrinkles, and plump your skin and give you um, additional hydration as well as giving you a dewy radiance. So that's what it's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to do. And so you are supposed to cleanse your face before you put this on. And so I did wash my face and I said, let me, let me try this mask today. And my skin feels soft, it feels smooth. I feel a little residual something down here and I probably shouldn't be <laughs> using my nubby fingernails to scrape it off. But I'm just making sure that I do have all of it off and I feel a little bit around here. But I like how my skin looks. My skin is not at all irritated. It does feel really smooth. Um, I would recommend if you do want to try this to find it on sale or the next, um, Sephora Rogue sale today is May 2nd. So their sale just ended yesterday. If you're Rogue or Rouge, however you pronounce it, it ended yesterday or just waiting to, for it, um, to be featured again on QVC because that price was like really good. And so it was almost like a two for one and actually less than a two for one price and so I'm feeling my skin feels soft this it feels good I didn't do it before and after to see you know is my face actually more radiant than before I put this on and so that I cannot speak to during the master classes it was like now watch her complexion is going to get more and more radiant they're like ooh, ah and I'm like I don't I don't know <laughs> but I, I like it and I will continue to use it and as I said, the set from QVC came with two boxes. And so I have three more in this one and then four in the other one. How often can you use this? I don't know. Uh, avoid contact with eyes. Do not breathe in the powder. It doesn't say how long. Well, not how long, but it doesn't say how often you can use this. But because it's so expensive, I would probably only do it maybe once a month. Or if my skin was feeling really dehydrated or dull, then maybe I would use it maybe once a week, but I kind of doubt it. So maybe every three or four weeks I would use one just as something extra in my skincare routine. Um, so we'll see, because sometimes, you know, things can be gimmicky, but it does feel, it did feel nice on, it felt good. My skin feels nice now. So I think I got all the residual off. So if you're interested, wait for a sale because this stuff is hella expensive. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, um, leave them below. If you've tried this product, let me know your thoughts on it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did it work for you? Did it not work for you? Um, oh, I got some in my eyebrows, which I knew I did. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. And so thank you guys for watching. And you'll see me in the next one. Oh, still some in my brows. Ooh. <laughs> Bye, guys.